This video, I'm going to do blueberries. The first thing you want to do with blueberries is you want to put them in boiling water. You, better, you have to be really careful. You don't want it in the boiling water for more than a minute because they'll get mushy. So this is the critical part. So if you follow me, I'll show you how we boil these up. Okay. As you can see here in the pot, we have a rolling boil. So what you want to do when you get it really rolling is you want to turn the, the stove right off. Then you're going to take your blueberries and you're going to gently dump them in there. Just like that. Okay, and you're going to leave them in there for about a minute. You're not going to stir them, just going to leave them undisturbed for about one minute. While they're blanching, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these trays and I'm going to put them over my sink. Just like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use them as a strainer because the less you move your blueberries, the less chance of mushing you have. So I found this to be a great idea. Okay, what you want to do is take a blueberry out, and you can feel if the skin is real soft. And that's how you want it. You don't want them to mush, but you want the skin to be soft. So now let's dump them. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some cold water to this. Okay, then I'm going to take my Excalibur dehydrating tray, and I'm going to place it over my sink and use it as a strainer. Make sure you only have one roll. You don't want them on top of each other, but you have to be really careful with them because if you try to pick them up or push them too hard, you'll mush them. You want to make sure you have just one roll. They're not on top of each other. Then you're going to take a toothpick and you're just going to go around and you're going to pop a hole in each one of them. It's a tedious job, but trust me, Putting the hole in them works. Okay, I've poked all the holes in the blueberries. It's a tedious job. Now I'm going to put them in the dehydrator. Okay, these are the blueberries and it's been 12 hours later. And you can see the ones that didn't get pricked with a toothpick are the ones that are not dehydrated. If you can see this right here, you can see how soft they are. The ones that did get pricked, you can see they're nice and dehydrated. And it's only been about 12 hours now. But these have to go back in for a little bit longer. Um, so I'm going to go around and re-prick all the ones that are big and soft, like that. And then I'm going to put them back in the dehydrator and dehydrate them a little bit longer.